What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be talking about coworkers that should not be at your job. Yeah. All right. Anyways, this is a story about a coworker that just walked out during his shift. And we're going to analyze exactly why he did this and basically make fun of him because psst, baseball. Let's call this coworker Marlin because who's called Marlin these days? Uh, anyways, so Marlin has been obsessed over this girl at work. Uh, they had a good relationship, then things kind of got sour after a party. Uh, and it ended up him wrecking his car and her really not talking to him, him again. So it's kind of weird, like weird scenario. And he really, really has no idea that he could just walk away from her. He doesn't have to obsess over her. You know, there's other women in the world, you know, or guys, whichever way he likes it. So he doesn't have to obsess over this one. So. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Narrow streets of cobblestone. <laughs> so I have been telling him, dude, just drop it or just go and ask her out. Like, just, just be straight up with a, hey, I'm sorry this happened. Can we get a fresh start? Blah, blah, blah. Well, he keeps chickening out. He, he'll go and be like, okay, I'm going to go talk to her. Nada. I'm going to go talk to her. Nada. And just over and over and over again. And finally, one day, recently, he comes into work early. Super early. You know, he was working in the evening and he's here in the morning. And he's drunk. Now, like, obviously, like, like all over the place, not like tipsy, and you can kind of tell. And he will not shut up about this girl. It's getting annoying. And I was like, just, dude, just do something about it. Stop, like, killing yourself over this, this girl that's not giving you time of day because you fucked something up. Either drop her or or try and fix it just ah, do something so he's like okay I'm gonna talk to her um, when I start working because that's when she comes in so um, and I'm, uh, I'm working in the morning so I'm over here like okay just do it just get it over with please shut up about this to me because it's annoying it's annoying everyone else and um, so he goes over during his shift and I'm just ending my shift I'm waiting for a couple tables to leave and he talks to her next thing I know he comes up to me and he's like dude I'm leaving and I'm like you know what you're like you're leaving leaving like you're cut or you just quit he's like I just quit I'm like okay cool um I have things to go do so I'm gonna catch up with you on that in a little bit and then he just grabbed his stuff and left. He didn't check out. He didn't cash out. He didn't do anything. He just left. He didn't pay for the his lunch that he had. He just left. And um, my managers weren't too happy about that. I wasn't too happy about that because that meant now I have to stay longer because now we're down on the server and we were just getting like hit. But fortunately, I didn't actually have to stay much longer. Um, so I was just like, are you serious right now? The fuck, man? Um, and over the past, in the next few days, everyone's asking, what happened? What happened? What did he do? Some people are saying that he got a different job. Some people are saying that, you know, he was just super tired of working here. Um, other people are saying it's because of this girl and no one has a straight answer. Well, it turns out that he got a job at another sushi place right across from a mall where this girl it's not working. Coincidental? I think not. Someone strike me down already. Please. I'm done with this shit. So, yeah. Now he's gone. And, um, yeah. We have it. We're stuck. I'm stuck here just like, what the hell? And then we fired another guy. Um, a couple other people quit. And now we're so short-staffed. It's ridiculous. And we still, we still don't have enough labor hours to give everyone enough hours a week. And if you guys are confused on what labor hours are, basically, um, for 
of every amount of sales we make, we get an hour of labor. So basically, like, the restaurant's profiting from hiring everyone. So we have to make a certain amount of sales every day to, you know, basically uh, make a profit, you know. So, you know, there's a set amount of hours a week that the managers have to give to the employees so that the restaurant still profits and doesn't lose money. Even though we're so understaffed, we still don't have enough hours for everyone. It's just like, oh my god, what is going on? But, um, yeah, more stories to come about this place. We're going to talk about how there's a home wrecker and working there. And everyone knows everyone there. And it's just really weird and awkward. And I'm just kind of like, someone kill me. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, make sure to drop a or make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Until next time, make sure to love yourselves and love life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.